<coughs> What's up, guys? So, Logan Paul sits record as longest reign in WWE US champ in 10 years. So, I'll give my opinion here in a second. Go check out Ringside News on Twitter, guys. Uh, I might have got this from Instagram. Like, I follow them on Instagram and Twitter. Uh, I believe they have a YouTube channel, too, so go check them out there. Well, let's get into this. So, Logan Paul, I believe, has defended the U.S. title in his reign, like, two times. Maybe three. But I'm pretty sure it's only two. Two times he's defended the title since becoming the champ. Now, I am not a fan of Logan Paul the person, but Logan Paul the wrestler, I'm kind of a fan of him. Do I think he needs the U.S. title? No. Does he need any title? No. He's a he's a draw uh, by just being there and having a match. So he doesn't need a belt to do so. Like, he just doesn't need one. We'll see how it all plays out. I think uh, L.A. Knight's going to beat him at SummerSlam. But uh, does he really need that belt? No. Is he going to put on a good match at SummerSlam? Probably. Like, most of his matches are really good. Whether you like Logan Paul the person or you like Logan Paul the wrestler, his matches are usually pretty good. Sometimes the best matches on the card. But I think the belt should be defended more than two times in your whole time of being champion. Like, when he defends the belt at SummerSlam, it'll be three or four times. Because I, I, for some reason, thinking that he's defended it three times now, but... I don't know. Three or four times when it comes to SummerSlam. That's not very... Like, you've got the longest reign, but the... What, the longest reign with the least amount of defense? Uh, that's not really much of a... Uh, a stat, really, if you think about it. Like, comment, and share, guys. We'll see you out in the next video. Peace.